just don't know what I'm going to get Donna for Christmas. Oh, I'm sure she'll treasure anything you give her as long as it comes from the heart. Yeah. I don't believe you. <laughs> That's because I'm lying. I buy her something good. Oh, yes, you do. Yeah, but what? Oh, she'll tell you. Oh, not overtly. I mean, she'll be subtle. But she'll give you a hint. Maybe you'll be walking by a department store and she'll look at a coat and say, hmm, isn't that pretty? Well, why can't you just tell me what she wants? Because knowing you're paying attention is part of the gift. Oh, I'm supposed to read her mind? Well, it won't be that hard. She's probably been hinting at something for months and you're too dense to pick it up. <laughs> but don't worry. As we get closer to Christmas, the hints get less and less subtle. Hi, honey. Hi, baby. What time do you have on your watch? Uh, 3.30. Oh, really? Oh, my clock must be slow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, better hurry. I don't want to be late. I'm going to go watch Wendy play soccer. Okay. And I want to watch out not to be late so I can watch my favorite TV show, Baywatch. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> Boy, if she's going to drop me a hint, she better be quick about it. Man, I hate shopping for women. Yeah, it's a minefield, in it? Hey, here are some of the things that I have learned in my years of shopping for the ladies. Never, ever buy anything in a large... <laughs> Been there. Oh, I swear, even if your woman is the size of a, a Soviet tractor boy, you better put a you better put a junior petite under the tree. Huh? And you know, just to be on the safe side, I buy my wife now nothing but Barbie clothes. <laughs> oh, here's no. I guarantee they will hate any underwear that made you horny when you saw it in the catalog. <laughs> Great, I already got a red teddy in the car. Uh, you might as well put it on your cat. <laughs> but another thing, never buy them anything they can use in the kitchen. Oh, boy, is that a mistake. I once got my third wife a, a, a fruit dehydrator. She didn't like it? No, and she made some pretty inappropriate jokes about drying my plums. <laughs> <laughs> Shopping for five women, Jean. Five. Yeah. I just wish that one year I could get them something and they'd all look at me and say, Oh, Jimmy, this is perfect. Yeah. And I, I wish I could fly and fight crime, but, uh, you know. <laughs> hey, Jean. Hey, Jerry. Jerry. Hey, Merry Christmas, Jerry. Uh, for me, I was all set to take the family to Hawaii for the holidays. Five days at the Maui Marquee. Then, bam, all three of the kids come down with chicken pox. Oh. Oh, that's a shame, Jerry. I feel for you there, buddy. Hey, thanks, Gene. No pox, pox, chicken pox. <laughs> Jerry, can't you get your money back? Nope, non-refundable tickets. Reservations have to be canceled a week in advance. Mm. I'm taking a $3,000 hit right to the shorts. Hey, Jerry, would a $1,500 hit right to the shorts feel any better? You take it? Well, this could be just what I'm looking for. This could be perfect. Then how about $2,000? How about $1,500 plus a red teddy? <laughs> I can't tell you anything when I get drunk, can I? Come on, look, it's my gift, but I want you to guess. Now, what's the one thing you've been wanting me to do for years and years? Shave your back. No. Put the toilet seat down? No. It would be a good gift. Oh, but that's not it. I'm small, I fall in. Let me, let me give you a hint. Oh, great. You're good at those. <laughs> Mom, what are you always saying was the best thing that Dad ever did for you? Passing away before they invented Viagra. <laughs> he never let me alone. Jim, I couldn't even get my housework done. You were conceived between the rinse and the spin cycle. <laughs> All right, A... I don't want to hear that. And B, the best thing Dad ever did was take the family musky fishing in Minnesota for Christmas. Oh, my God. We're going musky fishing? Musky fishing? No, no, no. Relax, relax. Nobody's going musky fishing. Musky fishing is not the point. The point was that at the holidays, Dad took us all away so that Mom wouldn't have to do all the cooking and cleaning and entertaining and clearing. 
You see, she was able to relax in the ice fishing shack with Dad. I could never relax around that man. Your sister was conceived while I deboned a perch. <laughs> Jim, why don't you just get to the news? All right, all right. I was going to tell you anyway. This year, the Stiles family will be, for Christmas, going to Hawaii! <laughs> Hawaii. An archipelago in the Pacific consisting of five volcanic islands? We know where it is, son. Are you sure? Because your faces don't look as if you heard Hawaii. Your faces look as if you heard Bosnia. How many tickets are there? Five. Me, Donna, the kids, and Mom. What about Brandon? Well, who's Brandon? My boyfriend. I thought your boyfriend was Frank. <laughs> yeah, like a decade ago. How long's a decade in adult time? Two weeks. Oh. Dad, this is the first meaningful relationship I've had since Trevor last month. I mean, he made plans. I was going to let him. We made plans. When are we supposed to leave? Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve? We decorate the tree on Christmas Eve. It's a great time to fly, honey. Yeah, if you're Santa Claus. And what about Christmas morning when we open up all the presents like we only have my whole entire life? We'll take the presents with us to the Maui marquee. Yeah, but it won't feel like Christmas. I don't want to go. Dad, you really should have asked us first. Really. Well, just as I predicted. Perfect. stockings are all hung up by the chimney with care. I know. In hopes that St. Nicholas will soon be there. I, I know you know the poem. Hey, it's more than a poem, it's a way of life. <laughs> <laughs> this was gonna be Brandon and my first Christmas together. Oh, please. Yesterday was your first Thursday together. <laughs> and here's something I bet nobody ever thought of. If we're not in our own homes, how will Santa Claus find us? Who are you kidding? I'm working the cute thing. Back off. <laughs> all right, all right, listen. We all have things that are special to us during Christmas, like our friends and the traditions. And I know you guys made special plans. I did, too. But your dad, bless his heart, has done something for us that he thought we would love. And even if it doesn't exactly coincide with what we had planned, do we really want to take his loving gift and throw it back in his face? So we're going? We're going, you big kahuna. Uh, what about the traditions? Girls and I are going to start a new tradition. Signing your name at the hotel gift shop. <laughs> and room service. And spa treatments. <laughs> and thus we'll celebrate the birth of our Lord. <laughs> <laughs> How much longer? Oh, flight leaves in 35 minutes. And we've been here two hours because? Because we like to see the big plane fly up, up, up in the sky. <laughs> You've been to the bar, haven't you? <laughs> yep, and it's only eight dollars a beer. <laughs> what smells good? Not me. <laughs> you got a turkey in there? Maybe. You do, you got a cooked turkey in your bag. Are you smuggling poultry? Jimmy, I just wanted something home cooked for Christmas. Well, what else you got, Donna? Yams in your pants? <laughs> no, but I do have gravy in an Evian bottle. Oh, look, there are the pilots. I gotta go have a word with them. Why? Well, you know, I wanna look them straight in the eye, see if they got the right stuff, and have a little discussion about the old flight plan. You just want a pair of those little plastic wings, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Evening there, fly boys. Evening, sir. <laughs> How you doing? So I guess you'll be uh, taking this old bird out tonight? Uh, yes, we are. Yeah. Yeah, I've done a bit of flying myself. 
Well, jets? No, no, paper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just fold them up, let them fly. <laughs> Any golfer? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, new shaft, graphite, didn't want to check it in. <laughs> Good golf in Hawaii. In five minutes, we'll begin boarding flight 117 for Honolulu, Hawaii. So I imagine you gentlemen will be uh, taking the old bird out due west. Uh, well, I won't, but the captain here will. And, uh. sir, you're pointing due east. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I was just, uh, just testing, you know. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I wonder if, um... If you could play through. <laughs> it's been two hours. Is there any news? On the condition of the pilot you birded. <laughs> any news about the backup pilot? I mean, is there an ETA? Not Y-E-T. <laughs> What'd he say? Oh, he said the pilot's gonna be here any minute. We're all gonna get free liquor and get bumped up to first class. You lie like rock. Yeah, you're right. I <laughs> but, uh, I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Is there anything I can do for you? Yeah, go back in time and not hit pilot. <laughs> Everybody here hates me. Oh, Jim, what are you complaining about? You've got plenty of Christmases left. I'm down to a precious few. Oh, Ma, you're going to be here forever. Oh, I know, thanks to you. <laughs> Could I have everyone's attention, please? I know that we're all disappointed because of the delay, but it is Christmas Eve, after all. And what's Christmas Eve without Christmas carols? Kind of like an airplane without a pilot. <laughs> so, we thought that we would go around the room and give everyone a chance to lead a Christmas carol, okay? So, who wants to start, huh? Oh, you, sir. Do you know Little Town of Bethlehem? Know it. I have a condo there. We'll be right back. We're gonna take a short little break so I can breastfeed my child. Yeah. In the bathroom. Oh. But please, may I say again, because I can't say it enough, I apologize for my husband. <laughs> Jokes, Rabbi? Yes. Have you heard this one? A priest and me walking to a bar. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Lee, but no one's dropped out yet. But you're on the top of our standby list. Thank you. You've been here all this time and you're on standby? Well, we're trying to make a family reunion in Honolulu. I haven't seen my parents for years. They're very old. They've never met my little girls or the baby. Gee, I hope you get on. Oh, really? In 15 minutes? I gotta tell you, you'll be a sight for sore eyes. The pilot's coming? No, but my landlady's agreed to go downstairs and feed my cats. <laughs> you know, I just realized that you're kind of stuck here with us, too, aren't you? Yes, this will be my first Christmas without boots and whiskers. Those your cats? No. <laughs> Ma, are you asleep? My ass is. <laughs> I've ruined everybody's Christmas. No, Jimmy. So far, you've just ruined Christmas Eve. You have all day tomorrow to ruin Christmas Day. Right now is where you're supposed to say something to make me feel better. 
Okay. You've always been a very good swimmer. I'll take that. Oh, Ma, how did this happen? It always happens. Because that's what you do. You get some wild idea and you think everybody's going to want to follow you and everything's going to be perfect. And even if it's some crazy spur-of-the-moment thing that nobody's prepared for. Yeah, it always ends up in some big disaster and everybody has a terrible time. No, not all the time, Jimmy. Sometimes it's fantastic. Remember when you woke the kids up to see that meteor shower in the middle of the night? They'll never forget that. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> and there was the time you bought the kids an incontinent monkey. That was bad. Well, I thought the guy said incompetent. Like he couldn't ride a bike or something. I didn't care. That's who you are, Jimmy Styles. Sometimes you get stardust, sometimes you get monkey poo. On this trip? We're scraping it off our shoes. But maybe next time, we'll get stardust. Somebody puked. <laughs> what were you saying? Never mind. <laughs> it's Christmas. It's Christmas. It's still the airport. <laughs> but we have a tree. When did you do that? Mama Claus was very busy last night. <laughs> and what is under the tree? Presents. Uh -huh. I was limited to what they had in the airport gift shop, but at least it's something to open on Christmas morning. Mentos? Oh, thanks, Mom. <laughs> and for you, Mitzi. Oh, look, a license plate with the name Mandy. <laughs> well, it's the closest I could find to Mitzi. Was that or a keychain that said Manuel? Gracias. <laughs> you got me a cell phone? They have a place where you can rent them, and I figured you could at least talk to Brandon while we wait. Who's Brandon? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> oh, world's greatest golfer. <laughs> it's ironic, because you're not. <laughs> hey, wait a sec. There's nothing under the tree for you. It's all right. I got myself a watch. You wanted a watch? Why didn't you say so? <laughs> this is very cool. And I'm not done yet. Ta-da! Oh, oh, my gosh, the Christmas turkey! Oh, served with the traditional fixings of hot dogs and nachos. You are amazing. I can make Christmas anywhere. You sure can. <laughs> okay, everybody, dig in! Uh, Mr. Deskman? Yes? Would you like to join us for some Christmas dinner? Are you trying to get bumped to first class? No, no, just trying to be a nice guy on Christmas. Well, sure. Thank you very much. This is nice. And after we're done, I promise to have your luggage flown back from Pakistan. Where, <laughs> where it might have been sent by accident. You know what, Mom? This feels like Christmas.
Christmas, Mom. That's one of the cool things about Christmas. Doesn't matter where you are. Ladies and gentlemen, our pilot has arrived. I'm gonna go talk to the new pilot. <laughs> Just wanna wish him a Merry Christmas. Do it after we land. <laughs> Flight 117 to Honolulu is ready for boarding. We apologize to our standby passengers, but the flight remains fully booked. Oh, Jim. I'm sorry you didn't get on. You know, you'd have thought somebody would have dropped out. Well, maybe next year, your parents last. Mr. Lee? Yes? Merry Christmas. You mean it? Yeah, go, uh, go see your family. Thank you, you good guy. Wait, let me tell my family what a wonderful man you are. Hey, okay, fight it, fight it, fight it. Pretty nice, mister. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Stardust, baby. Stardust. Oh, <laughs> 